Tom, yeah. Dick, and Harry can log in and correct something. It, thank you. And, and, and those things, that's the thing I want to talk about, because those things don't require a government conspiracy. And I, that's the thing people need to understand. Like, our problem, it's not government. It's not law enforcement. It's not this versus that. It's not black versus white. It's not red versus blue. It's not Republican versus Democrat or whatever you have in your country. It's, those are all very illusory, and they're there to keep you in that trap where we don't talk to each other. So don't let, like, don't get caught up in that. Like, and I'm, I'm, and I'm telling you it as I'm telling it to myself. Okay. Yeah. I am not telling you, not, I'm not finger waving. Okay. I go into this. You see this, you will see conspiracy in this very page, even though you hear me saying this out loud, I'm still pulling myself out of it. And, and I, uh, and it, and it's, it reminds me of something I do in my work called an interfrequency hard handoff. And it's something where I, on one of my contracts, yeah, one of my contracts I had down in, um, uh, uh, Walnut Creek. I part of my job was to do handoffs between cell towers, and uh, it's it's data, right? There's um there's this process where one site hands off to another site, and you have to um, put certain parameters into one tower to talk to the other tower. Okay, and I was doing work on the 3G stuff specifically, um, and basically. I can't talk about specifics and brands and people or whatever, but I can talk about general concepts. Yeah. Okay. Um, but in this scenario, there was a two different vendors, right? And so you had vendor A and vendor B, and what we were doing was upgrading the network from A to B, okay? And so there's parts on the, like what they do is they have clusters of sites, and they'll be like in, I don't know, 20, 30 sites, right? And then what we were supposed to do is optimize all of the parameters within that cluster of sites so that when you were trying to hand off to the other sites that were nearby that had been upgraded to the new technology, that they could talk to each other. Because when they're different vendors, they just they, they can't communicate because they're not made by the same vendors. They don't, you know, you know what I'm saying? They don't speak the same language effectively. So you have to find ways for in between these um, hardware types to create uh, an efficient handoff. And so that's basically was the, the focus of what I was doing, okay? Um, so there was a, a section of highway in particular that was really difficult, and it's because there is vendor A and vendor B, and you're going from a, a frequency that's like, I, I'm not going to use actual frequencies here, but let's just say for the sake of um, argument, like, I don't know, say I'm on like 450, and that's not a real frequency uh, that we use, by the way. I'm on 450 here, and this is, I don't know, 900, for example, all right? Again, just totally fake. Um, and you're driving down the highway, and the... You, you want to hand off from 450 to 900. This is vendor A. This is vendor B. Well, that requires some really tricky handoff parameters, and that's why they're called intervendor interfrequency hard handoffs. I know that's like a lot to to think about, well, but that's it's like really as simple as that. Right? It's really as simple as that, though. Um, and I thought about how that translates to what I'm dealing with and the the types of things that I need to learn about to understand my problem fully. And there's clearly an occult element to all of these um, things that we're dealing with, right? That's the thing that's become more and more clear. To me. Why does that subtly come up occult? What what's the why does that what what are, we're talking about electronics here and data well, being uh, handed off and because my communication mind, mind control, in, yeah, mind you know, control wouldn't be possible without some sort of alchemical knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like I, it's it's almost like there's these things that people are capable of doing when they're at a certain spiritual level and that because they're able to hack certain people who have that, that spiritual ability and put those programs into other people, it seems like if you were a high potential empath or psychic, they would be very interested in keeping track of you so that they could basically take your abilities and then transfer them over to somebody else. Um, and so, sorry, like I'm getting jammed right now. No, like I'm I, having I, a hard with time. What? Explain, uh, uh, describe uh, your experience. It is almost like right now my brain is going split right down the middle, like it's separating the connection. This that I was telling okay. you about. I was all okay. Let's up. fight this and win th through this. Okay. Yeah, I know. Let's do that because it's it's tough. Um, and I'm gonna wow. get myself a glass of water, so I'll just. Uh, yeah, it's, I need that too. Well, I. I what, what, what helps me deal with this when I'm in my personal, I guess, space or whatever, and I'm not um, dealing with it, I keep thinking about that footage that, this is what's helped me recently, is that footage you filmed in um, Warsaw. 
and and the way that they were talking about how they recovered from mind control and that there was all these people there that were completely awake and completely aware and that they've recovered um, largely from it. And um, that made me feel very hopeful about what we could accomplish here because I think that this is really the number one problem that we have. I think that first and foremost, if we're going to solve any of our other problems, we have to get through the issue of mind control. It has to be studied, it has to be figured out. And it has to be found like right at the source. I don't see any other way because nobody can be properly evaluated for their actions until that's solved. How can you look at a group of people who are fighting between each other and suggest that one is a bad person and the other is a good person in any scenario, knowing that we're basically in a frequency fence? I mean, you know, however you want to call it, I don't know what it is, but people are not responding well. Um, well, the, the main thing is we're dealing with intelligence of some kind. Yeah. We're dealing with maybe some kind of artificial intelligence. Yeah, exactly. And we're dealing with some kind of ET or extra dimensional intelligence. Would you agree yeah. with that? Yeah, exactly. And I, so I why can't... don't we talk about it? Why don't we engage the intelligence? Well, why don't we try to understand it? Maybe we're just dealing with communication from something and be so empowered and strong that you've got this ability. That's the, I'm glad you said that because this You've is the reason You've also got the ability to shout I, back. I think Solaris managed to, to, to do that. So if, if anybody's coming into your head without their permission, that's by, that's nefarious intent. They can go to hell. You can kick, okay. kick, kick, kick their ass back. It's, a, <laughs> it's funny you say that. All the um, scalar stuff. You can, you can, you know, when somebody sends you a letter, you don't have to receive it. You just throw it back at them. Okay. Got it. Deny them permissions. Um, and then communicate with other people and then globally fight back. We're not going to take this shit. You know, Howard Beale, I'm not going to take, I'm as mad as hell, I'm not going to take this anymore. You know, that's, and that's, you definitely, so like, that's the thing, like when I'm, the way I inspire myself, it's not just through the nice music. I mean, honestly, I have to, I'll, I'll play one song that's like that, you know, like the bells. And, and then, by the way, just having water can help discharge this stuff. Yeah, actually, you're right. I, I, I was I actually uh, having, an, of course, you got all the fluorines and bloody all the Honestly, program. not just water, but mountain spring water, especially. That's something that I found is very important. I actually get this from, uh, this is water that, I, if you spend money on anything, let it be water. If you can't afford any other, like, luxury thing that's, that's a premium, I would say water should be the most vital thing that you focus on if you really want to start solving the problem, because... Uh, Again, I can't prove anything, but I just know from a troubleshooting perspective, this is paramount. It is. Which is why they want to, they've got energized water. You've got the triple spiral stuff. Yeah. Are aware of that? Yeah. But no, no, this is, uh, I think this, uh, you know, I don't well, want to like, the, the, again, uh, the I'm not, I don't want to make, I don't want to make, I don't want to make commercials the ground. in case I'm wrong about some brands or something like that, so. <laughs> the, no, I, this isn't a brand, it's an energy spiral, it's triple spiral. You know the Irish three spirals? That's the energy spiral that comes out of so-called sacred water that comes from deep under the ground. And that is healing. It's got those properties. So you can get yeah. stuff to reprogram the water. Yes.